Hello, I am Bentham, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. And um, in the previous episode, we began. I talked you through the various systems of the new update, and and did a couple of little missions to get us a little bit of money. And so today, what we well we we have. Let's go into the contracts, and we'll have a look at what we've got. So. Currently, we want to get to 22 kilometers. We want to escape the atmosphere, and we want to orbit Kerbin. And I think we're going to try and do all of those in one go. Though we also have a few more that have popped up now, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a couple of them. I'm gonna be, um, I'm, I'm gonna be a bit cheaty, sort of, and I'm just gonna take all of the ones that involve testing something while landed, because why not, really? Um, we probably won't make it. I don't think it'll earn us money really because we'd get a very small amount of money for it and we'd probably use that up using the part, but whatever. Because I, I can't be bothered testing stuff in flight, it's too difficult. So we'll go out of this and we'll go into the vehicle assembly building. And once it loads up, here we are. Weird graphically thing going on there, big squares, but whatever. So we want to make something that can get into space. We want, well, we want it to get into orbit. So we'll need the pod, of course. And then from there, we want um, to build the thing that will land again. So let me see. We don't want a decoupler. We want to. We can. We can have landing legs now, can't we? Wherever they are, there they are. Okay, we can have landing legs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give us. Nice big tank here. I'm gonna give us this engine here. We're gonna get ourselves a parachute. We're gonna get ourselves some radially mounted. Oh, why? Is, come on, turn on angle snap. Angle snap is is really important at Kerbal, in my opinion. So we'll put those on there, and then we will get ourselves three landing legs. Because three is sort of the minimum. Oh, that's wonky. Can't be doing. There, there we go. Oh, no. There. Okay, so that's our three landing legs. So we will now be able to land this completely safely. And then we'll grab some scientific equipment and we'll uh, let's. Now we, we only we'll have two. And then we will rotate them, plunk them down there, and we'll get some communitrons and stick those up there. And that should be. The complete landing vehicle. So now what we want is ooh, give me that decoupler. Stick that on there. Now let me just check what parts we need to test. We need to test liquid fuel engine, the LV909. That is this little thing here. That's no good. We'll do that later. But it wants us to test this on the launch pad, and that is something that I'm, I'm very much happy to do. And it also wants us to test the separatrons. I'll do that some other time as well. So we will. What have we got in structural? Oh, no, got what I wanted. That's a shame. Um, we'll get... It, come on, select it. Keep clicking and it doesn't click. We'll get a couple of these. Um, we'll get... Oh, ah, alt. I'm all over the place with the button presses today. We'll get that on. We need to just hop this up a little bit. Get it. Get, for crying out loud, keep misclicking. Get that engine on there. And then we want some... Ah, we haven't invented radial decouplers. That is a problem. What we will do is get these, get uh, two of these, I think, and that should do. It'll stand on those and launch with them. We are still quite short on various materials, but this this is something. This may get us into orbit, possibly. We'll find out, I suppose. So we'll call this Orbit Orbiter 1, I think. Yes, Orbiter 1. Save that. Sort out the staging, so we'll have all, everything fire at once. Then that will decouple, and then this will fire. And then we'll have these two radially mounted parachutes deploy first, and then this is the sort of emergency parachute if the bottom falls off or something. So, um, let's give it a shot, I think. We'll save it again to save the, uh, the what's it, whatever you call it. And once we're on the launch pad, we will find out if I've put enough engines on this, which may not be the case. Okay, here we are. We've got Jebediah Kerman, of course. We haven't killed him yet. So we will stick on the SAS. Um, we'll not throttle up, necessarily, because these engines might be enough. So we will fire. And there we go. Let's try and cut these engine, the, the, the middle engine. And we are still accelerating, so that's a good thing. We're going quite fast, actually. We may, be, we may have put a little bit too much into it. We're going at nearly 2G. It's slowing down a bit, actually. Okay, we're at... 
100 kilometers. We want to be at 110 at one kilometer up. Almost perfect, that's good. But now I reckon we're going a bit too fast. So let's see, we're at 100. We want to be at 130 at, th at three kilometers. And we're at that now, which is very much not three kilometers. So yeah, we, we put a bit too much power into this with these boosters. Also, we're sort of veering. If you look at the nav ball, we're sort of twitching over to to one side. But that's all right. Okay, we're we're getting to we're at three kilometers now, and we're going at 160, 170. I'm not sure if this will get into orbit, but but it'll get us. It'll get us that first bit of sight. Let me try and correct our positioning here. Come on, come on, turners. Turners, turners, turners. That's more like it. Set the SAS to that, and that's all good. Let's do some science. We'll observe the mystery goo and find out if we can get anything from it at this point. Yes, we can. Flying at Kerbin. Okay. And we can do a crew report as well. Let's do that. Crew report. Oh, we don't get anything from that. Okay, then. Right, the solid boosters are about to cut out so I'm going to throttle up the liquid fuel engine now at this point we're going to be carrying these boosters even though they're not going to be there we go they're out yeah we're slowing down quite fast that's a problem because the thing is we can't get rid of these because we haven't invented radial decouplers and so they're going to be weighing us down and this little engine this is probably enough to, to um, send up the, the central column but it's not enough to send up these um, outer two boosters as well so we are going to have a problem there. We're actually, it's as we get higher up, we lose more weight from fuel, and gravity reduces a little bit. So, oh, and also the atmosphere reduces. So that will help us to keep on fighting against gravity. So you can see, we are p barely slowing down now, and we've stopped changing it, and now we're accelerating again. So that's good. We're going to make it to somewhere. So, oh, we've got the result of testing the part. We got 300 for that, so that's all right. We we're sort of going to use them anyway. And now um, we're 10,000 kilometers away from, from our target location. I'm going to turn us over a bit because I think I, I'm feeling confident. So I'm going to do a gravity turn in case we do get into an orbit. So we'll just turn ourselves down to here. We'll just do it to here so far. 45 degree turn, not 45, that's 23, isn't it? We've gone a bit over, but that's fine. So we'll go out into this map view, we'll get, we'll open all these things up. Um, fuel, things like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll open up the fuel. This thing we you ne now get to choose which of the, oh, I closed it again, stupid, it, oh, okay. Right, we're up to 300 meters per second. That's still quite slow, unfortunately. We, we're we tipping over, actually. That's a concern. The yaw is not yet on full, though, so it's... it's. Uh, yeah, we're balancing. We're twitching back up a, a bit now. I wonder, can we get some a crew report now that we're higher in the atmosphere? Yes, we can. We get upper atmosphere science, and so we can transmit that. And also, the the engine that's firing will um, refill our power which is good so we won't have any problems there right now so we've got that nearly there we go it's transmitted 3.5 signs there and if we go back into this view okay yeah, our apoapsis is starting to go now so it looks like we're definitely gonna reach space but I don't know whether we'll quite manage an orbit that's that's something that's yet to be seen at this point, I'm going to bring us down onto a 45 degree angle and see how that goes. There we go. And actually, we might go a bit further than that because we are really starting to get some speed up now. How much do we have left in this stage? Not that much, actually. But I reckon we're gaining speed now. We're up to 700 meters per second. Let's turn ourselves over onto a flat onto, onto the a horizontal positioning oh there goes that engine actually so we will now decouple this I apologize for the lag that we're experiencing today um, I turned up the graphical settings and apparently I did it too much so you know everything looks nicer than it would otherwise but it's sort of slow yeah we're getting a frame rate of 10 that's not good at all so there we go, we're onto the horizon, and we're throttling with this engine. It's a bit of a slow engine, 
so it's going to be a while but we we're still getting acceleration let's try and do some physics acceleration just to speed up the burn we've got two times and that's a lot nicer so yes we are we're extending our orbit along a lot but at the moment it's not going up very much of course because it's the apoapsis the further away from you the apoapsis is the the quicker it will rise when you um, thrust horizontally speaking of horizontally we're not there anymore there we go back onto the horizontal because we go around the planet and of course where we're pointing stops being the horizon hmm we might need to point up a bit more actually to, to get that to get us out of the atmosphere Okay, we've used up half of our th of our fuel there. So yeah, it looks like we're not going to get an orbit, but oh oh there it goes. It's the the apoapsis is shooting off now. We've reached a sort of a sort of vital point. So yeah, now that's above the atmosphere. Oh, actually, I think we Oh, that's the, the 22,000 site thingy there. Okay. Oh, it's, it looks like we're going to do it actually. All we need to do is well, let me check what we've got so far. So we've got 22 kilometers. And we've got escape the atmosphere, so what we need to do now is we... Oop, I forgot we're still... Well, don't show me that again. I forgot we were still in physics acceleration. Because we're out of the atmosphere now, so we can use normal time warp. We will swing ourselves around to the apoapsis. And now we are there. So we will point ourselves at the prograde marker. And we will burn that last little bit to get us into an orbit. And there it is. So we've got our final bit of of contract there nearly 60,000 we just earned from that and while we're up here we'll do a little bit of science so which goo there's the goo canister we haven't used yet we'll observe this goo does it give us anything it does the space near Kerbin um, of course it gives us anything we haven't been out of the atmosphere yet so there's gonna be science to be done here we can do a crew report of the space near Kerbin we can do an EVA report if we hop out EVA and just above Kerbin's water okay so we could hop out and in and do a bit of science that way but we'll do that some other time I think because I'm lazy so what we will do now is we've got all that science done we're gonna warp ourselves around because you want to land on the light side so you can see what the hell's going on so we'll get ourselves around to about here I think so there and then we will put ourselves pointing retrograde we'll get our burn going and we'll do that and we'll leave it there I think and w my intention is to land on the desert at the moment we don't actually have we're not on a collision course with the surface but of course we're going into the atmosphere and that will slow us down and we'll land somewhere else so we're warping and once we get into the atmosphere which is now we'll go into physics warp turn off SAS so that we can get into a, into whatever natural orientation the ship wants to be in which could be backwards you never know the sun's risen but it's sort of not lit anything up yet we still got a lot of darkness if we look over here there we go we've got a nice view of the ship now oh look at the lovely like rainbow effect that we're getting on the atmosphere oh that's Minmus there like little dots that you might be able to see if you're watching in HD um, oh, oh we're getting a bit of shadow glitching as I move around yeah I've obviously done the, all the wrong settings here tried to make it look a bit nice n nicer graphically without affecting the frame rate and I've not done that good a job and the frame rate's gone terrible um, we're now at 7 as the laptop gets warm we'll look up here now we're at 16 that's lovely okay we're starting to come in now we're down to 50 kilometers and yep you can see our um, Orbit is dropping as we slow down. We're still going at 2300. That's a weird number to say. 2300 meters per second. We are wobbling from all of the the atmospheric stuff. I've really messed up the graphics here. Look at this horrible flickering and stuff. It's like artifacting or something. Okay. Uh, we're going to get flames any second now. We're just trying to get us on a nice straight orientation there we go we're pointing there's the flames so we'll bring out our gear there it goes the time accelerating isn't going to help with the frame rate of course oh we are changing our orientation a bit 
There we go. What's the view from inside? Let's do an IVA. Ooh, it's, it's a bit red. Can't see any flames out of the window. In fact, you can't see anything out the window. Oh, there's some flames, actually. Yep. Yeah, I've really made a mess of this, though. I'm definitely going to have to mess about a lot with the graphics. Because what happened was, um, I updated to 24.2. Oh, oh, we're getting... Right, deploy the parachutes. Oh, I forgot to stop time accelerating while we did that. I updated to 24.2, and in the process, um, of course, all of the... Um, well, the way I did it was I downloaded it, the, the copy and then put my save file in. And what that means is that all of the settings were reset, and so I went in and fixed them. But I decided to do some tweaking as well to try and make things look nicer, because I realized that in the last episode, um, the, the, the textures were very crap. So I tried fixing that, um, and I've obviously done it wrong. But anyway, we're coming into land now in the desert, which was my intention. I was, well, I, I was expecting to land somewhere around here, honestly, but, you know, desert is desert. So, I don't, I'm not going to do any science with it. I'll do that later with a plane or something to be more interesting. Okay, we're coming down. I don't know how high we are, but I expect the parachutes will... There they go. Okay, well, the parachutes have gone. And then we'll deploy our extra parachutes as well. Why not? And then we can just warp ourselves down nicely to about 1,200, I expect, should be all right. So down we go, and oh, let's slow down there actually, looks like we're getting really close. Okay, and any second now, we will land upon the surface. Donk, there we have it, we've been to space and been in orbit and come back, it's like um, that mission, the one with Yuri Gagarin, was it Vostok, or was that something else, I don't know. Okay, we'll recover the vessel, and we'll find out what, what glorious um, science we have gained, and so on. Oh wow, look at our reputation now, we are right in the green, we're miles away from the blue, that definitely helped. We got 40 signs there, we're up to 106, and we've recovered 4,000 pounds worth of, of equipment, and we've got ourselves a nice bit of reputation, of course Jebediah is alive, so we'll hop into the contract, and ooh, explore the moon, there we go, we'll accept that, and rescue... Gene Dan Kerman, who is in Kerbin orbit, will do that as well. And then that's all the stuff that was in here before. So now all, what we need to do, there's two testing missions. We need to go to the moon. We need to rescue someone from orbit. So we will go and do some science. Um, we'll unlock all of this tier. And then the next tier costs 45, so we can upgrade that too. Um, and we'll go, for, we'll go for the science equipment. There we go. So we've got our new... Um, testing lab thing and we've also got some batteries which will help in an extra science transmission so there we go that is uh, that's today's Kerbal Space Program we have been into orbit and we've got a bunch more money we're now on on hundred and seventy four thousand pounds that's the thing I've noticed in this you earn money very quickly and so far I've not depleted it in any sort of serious way but maybe later on when I start having fun and just building stuff that I just is just messing about it'll change but anyway now I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.